This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the JDFN Forex Report. Good afternoon, traders. Welcome back from the weekend. Today is Monday, September 22nd. I'm Scott Norris, and this is your Forex Report. The dollar really took it on the chin today and is still dropping as we enter the final two hours of trading. This is not surprising, given the big turnaround seen Friday morning, resulting in a very weak close for the buck. There is very little to keep the currency from continuing that slide today. Oil rallied more than $10 a barrel, something only seen a couple of times ever. Gold was also up significantly, tacking on more gains to last week's record-breaking run. None of this bodes well for the dollar. Additionally, we believe traders are seeing the other side of the equation with all of the U.S. banking woes. At first glance, traders ran for cover, buying low-yielding currencies including the dollar. However, this really doesn't make a ton of sense in the big picture. We're not saying the dollar is done. In fact, we believe another bout of strength is on the horizon. We are simply preparing much more for a two-way street in the remainder of the year. On the news front, we have a very busy week ahead of us. There are a handful of top-tier reports from Germany this week, which should give us a better feel of where the Eurozone currently stands. CPI is seen falling a bit this month, which could take the ECB down another notch on the hawkish pole. U.S. data is a bit more limited but we are expecting two days of testimony from Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke concerning the current state of the U.S. economy, the banking system, and what may lie ahead. He will be accompanied by Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson on day one, tomorrow morning, but we are not clear on whether the same is true of day two. Either way, tomorrow will be the main event and kicks off at 10 a.m. Expect that traders tonight will be trying to price into the dollar what comments are anticipated at this event. Till tomorrow, have a wonderful evening in trading. Take care.